Defence News in a Nutshell, your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in MINDEF and the SAF in under five minutes. Here's what happened from 18th to 31st August. The Republic of Singapore Air Force, or RSAF, recently participated in a large-scale multilateral air combat exercise, codenamed Pitch Black, in Darwin, Australia. Up to 100 aircraft and 2,300 personnel from seven countries took part in this year's exercise. New players, France and United Arab Emirates, joined Australia, Singapore, Thailand, United States and New Zealand in various day and night air combat scenarios. The RSAF deployed about 300 personnel, 6 F-15SG and 8 F-16CD fighter aircraft, a Gulfstream 550 Airborne early warning aircraft and a KC-135R air-to-air refuelling aircraft. Established more than 20 years ago in 1990, Exercise Pitch Black enhances professionalism and interoperability among the participating forces and fosters closer rapport and mutual understanding among their personnel. Minister for Defence Dr Ng Eng Hen met with Indian Defence Minister Arun Jaitley in New Delhi, India while on an official visit there. Both ministers expressed satisfaction with the level of cooperation in the field of defence and agreed that it would be an opportune time to step up the defence relationship between India and Singapore under the ambit of an enhanced partnership. India and Singapore will commemorate 50 years of diplomatic relations in 2015. As part of his visit, Dr Ng also met with External Affairs Minister Shushma Swaraj and laid a wreath at the Amar Jawan Jyoti. A deeper connection and stronger engagement with the community are in the cards for the Restructured Advisory Council on Community Relations in Defence, or ACCORD. Now split into three councils, ACCORD can better engage employers, family members and members of the broader community as well as facilitate initiatives that support national service and total defence. Second Minister for Defence Mr Chan Chun Singh, who is also a court chairman, together with a court deputy chairman and Minister of State for Defence Dr Mohammed Maliki bin Osman, met with members of the restructured accord at its first meeting held at Safra Topayo. Mr Chan expressed his deep appreciation to all past and present accord members for their contribution and support for NS and Defence at a formal ceremony to recognise outgoing and incoming accord members. More than 46,000 people took part in this year's Safra Singapore Bay Run and Army Half Marathon 2014. One of Singapore's oldest long-distance running events, it promotes bonding and fitness as a lifestyle among SAF national servicemen and their families. Mr Chan flagged up the Safra 5km Fun Run and Families for Life 800m Father and Child Challenge. He also took on the 5km route after the flag off together with Dr Maliki. Our aim is to encourage a culture of fitness within the SAF and particularly in the Army. What we have seen is that more people taking up the longer distances for the 21 km and the 10 km. One in four participants in the 21 km race uh, this year are actually NS men who are participating for the first time. So we are very happy that the fitness culture has uh, been uh, taking root in the SAF. At the post-race carnival in the Padang, kids got to try out fun-style challenges inspired by the SAF standard obstacle course and other fun-filled activities. For more details on these stories, visit mindef.gov.sg. Here's what's buzzing on our social media channels. Dr Ng shared stories of our servicemen and women who have done well in their careers despite not starting out with a degree. With their diverse talents, they contribute in different areas to make the SAF strong. Meet ME3 Angela Chan, ME6 Ranjit Singh, Lieutenant Colonel Noor Effendi and 2nd Warrant Officer Bobby Lin, who proved that success in life goes beyond paper qualifications. Yes, nothing is impossible. Head over to Dr Ng's Facebook page to find out more. Well, that's our defence news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through our social media channels. This is Sonia from Power98 signing off.